Western military officials are warning that Moscow's invasion is entering a new, more deadly phase, uh, with Russian forces likely to use more indiscriminate tactics to suppress resistance. Joining us now is Bloomberg's Europe correspondent Maria Tadeo to take stock. Uh, Maria, good morning. Where do officials see this going in the next 48 hours then? Well, Anna, as you say, there is now a very real concern that this war is going to escalate. And we've seen the pictures over the past 24 hours. These are some of targets that are not just military anymore. You're looking at local government being uh, targeted at monuments, of course, that are very connected to the history and the legacy of Ukraine, but also residential uh, buildings and office space. This is unrelated to what a normal war uh, would look like. It's not just military targets, as I say. And a lot of this, of course, officials say response to the fact that we're now now stretching into a week-long uh, war. The Russians, of course, had predicted that this was going to be a quick military operation. We're now running, as I say, into a lengthy uh, conflict. And, of course, the longer you stay in Ukraine without achieving or reaching the targets that Russia says it wants, then it means that you're running into a conflict that is becoming more expensive, that your troops can run out of fuel, that they can run out of food. And this, of course, means that the Russians have every incentive right now to go more brutal, to be more severe. And to try to achieve these goals, as I say, as quick as possible. The West, of course, says the more severe and brutal you are to civilian populations, the more repercussions that Russia, which is already pretty much in isolation across the world, will suffer. Good morning, Maria. Are there any more sanctions likely to come soon? Well, Mark, this again takes us back to the point we were referring to. If you are brutal to the civilian population, if we do see cities where there is no access to food, water, and we see this military escalation, I guess it's very fair uh, to say that the conversation is already changing into uh, more sanctions and more forceful response on Russia and perhaps now a debate around what to do with the energy sector and what to do with those very particular but very key industries that still connect Russia with the Western economy. An official told me this war is changing nature, and it also means that the repercussions on the package will also probably get bigger in the next few days.